Welcome everyone. Today, we dive into a profound exploration of how our thoughts shape our reality. Have you ever considered the immense power that lies within your mind? The capacity for thought is what distinguishes us as human beings, granting us the ability to not just interact with the world, but to interpret and transform it according to our will and perception. In this journey, we'll uncover the intricate relationship between thought, emotion, mood, and reality. How do these elements interweave to create the tapestry of our lives? It's a question that has puzzled philosophers, psychologists, and thinkers for centuries, yet it remains as relevant today as ever. Our thoughts are the lens through which we view the world, a lens that can be polished, adjusted, and sometimes even radically changed to alter our perception and, in turn, our reality. Consider for a moment the last time you faced a challenge or a setback. What went through your mind? How did your thoughts about the situation influence your feelings, your mood, and ultimately the outcome? It's here, in the crucible of our daily experiences, that we see the power of thought most clearly at work. But this power is not just about influencing our immediate circumstances. It's about shaping our very being, our identities, and our destinies. Through our thoughts, we forge the narratives of our lives, casting ourselves as the heroes, the victims, or perhaps even the villains of our own stories. But what if we could become conscious directors of these narratives, actively choosing the roles we play and the scripts we follow? This is not mere speculation or fanciful thinking. It's a possibility grounded in the science of psychology and the practice of introspective reflection. By understanding the nature of thought and its impact on our lives, we can begin to harness its power for transformation and growth. So I invite you to join me as we delve into the depths of the mind, exploring the power of thought and its potential to reshape our reality. Are you ready to embark on this journey? Are you prepared to discover how your thoughts can shape your world? Now onto the topic of understanding thought, the seed of reality. Let's begin by understanding thoughts. Thoughts are not mere reflections of reality. They are the creators of it. This is a profound assertion that suggests our mental processes play a crucial role in shaping our experiences and interactions with the world. But how exactly do your thoughts shape your perception of the world? Every thought we entertain is like a brushstroke on the canvas of our reality. Positive thoughts can paint our experiences with hope and possibility, while negative thoughts can darken our perspective, leading to despair and limitation. This is not to say that thinking positively can magically solve all of life's challenges, but rather that the quality of our thoughts significantly influences our approach to solving problems and seizing opportunities. We'll explore the concept that every significant action and every life event starts with a thought. From the monumental achievements of human civilization to the simple act of choosing what to eat for breakfast, every decision begins in the realm of thought. But what about the thoughts we are not conscious of? The subconscious mind is a vast and largely uncharted territory, teeming with beliefs, biases, and memories that influence our conscious thoughts and behaviors in ways we are often unaware of. The implications of this are profound. It means that to truly understand and master our thoughts, we must also delve into the subconscious mind uncovering and addressing the hidden beliefs that shape our perceptions and actions. This is no easy task for the subconscious mind is like an iceberg, with the bulk of its content hidden beneath the surface of awareness. Yet the effort to bring these subconscious thoughts into the light of consciousness is worthwhile. By becoming aware of the underlying beliefs that drive our thoughts, we can begin to question and challenge them. We can ask ourselves whether these beliefs serve our well-being and align with our values, or whether they hold us back miring us in patterns of negative thinking and limiting behavior. In this section, we will explore strategies for identifying and transforming subconscious thoughts using tools from cognitive behavioral therapy, mindfulness meditation, and other psychological practices. The goal is not just to change our thoughts, but to understand their origins and the beliefs that fuel them, thereby gaining greater control over the narrative of our lives. As we embark on this exploration, remember that the journey to understanding and mastering your thoughts is a personal and unique one. What works for one person may not work for another. So approach this exploration with an open mind and a willingness to experiment. Find the practices and perspectives that resonate with you and be patient with yourself as you navigate the complex terrain of your inner world. In the next sections, we will build on this foundation, diving deeper into the relationship between thought, emotion, and mood, and exploring how we can use this knowledge to actively shape our reality. Let's now focus on Introspection, the mirror of the mind. Introspection is crucial in this process. It's about looking within, understanding the narratives we tell ourselves. How often do you introspect? What do these internal dialogues reveal about your beliefs and perceptions? 
The journey of self-discovery begins with introspection, the act of examining our own thoughts and feelings. This process allows us to uncover the layers of our consciousness and understand the foundation upon which our perceptions and beliefs are built. But effective introspection is more than just casual reflection. It requires a structured approach to truly unearth the depths of our psyche. Techniques such as journaling, meditation, and guided introspection exercises can serve as powerful tools in this endeavor. These methods help us to slow down, create space for self-examination, and approach our inner world with curiosity rather than judgment. Through introspection, we can identify recurring themes in our thoughts and emotions, recognizing patterns that may be contributing to our current state of being. This awareness is the first step towards transformation. By understanding the narratives we tell ourselves, we gain the power to rewrite them, to change the stories that no longer serve us into ones that empower and uplift us. Yet introspection is not without its challenges. Facing one's own thoughts and emotions can be daunting, as it often brings to light aspects of ourselves that we may prefer to ignore. But it's through this confrontation with our inner truth that growth occurs. By embracing vulnerability and practicing self-compassion, we can navigate the complexities of our inner world and emerge with a deeper understanding of who we are and what we truly desire. Thought and emotion, the interlinked dance. Thoughts and emotions are deeply interlinked. Your emotions are a response to your thoughts. How do your thoughts influence your emotions? And how do these emotions, in turn, influence your thoughts? The relationship between thought and emotion is a dynamic interplay, a dance that shapes our experience of life. Thoughts, often subconscious, trigger emotional responses which then feed back into our thought processes, creating cycles that can uplift or undermine us. Understanding this dance is crucial for emotional regulation and psychological well-being. By becoming aware of the thoughts that precede our emotional reactions, we can begin to question and modify these thoughts, thereby influencing our emotional responses. Cognitive behavioral techniques, such as cognitive restructuring, teach us to identify and challenge irrational or harmful thoughts, replacing them with more balanced and constructive ones. Breaking negative cycles of thought and emotion requires mindfulness and practice. Techniques such as mindfulness meditation can help us become observers of our thoughts and emotions, allowing us to recognize their transient nature without becoming ensnared by them. This detachment provides the space necessary to choose how we respond to our internal experiences, fostering positive cycles that enhance our well-being. The next topic is mood and the climate of the mind. Our mood is like the climate of our mind, influenced by the weather of our thoughts and emotions. How does your mood affect your day-to-day -day life and decisions? Just as the climate can influence the environment, our mood can shape our perception, behavior, and interactions with others. Moods, though more enduring than emotions, can be managed and influenced through conscious effort. Strategies to manage and improve mood often involve a combination of thought regulation, emotional processing, and behavioral changes. Regular exercise, adequate sleep, and a healthy diet can have profound effects on our mood. Additionally, engaging in activities that bring joy and fulfillment can contribute to a more positive mood and overall sense of well-being. Practicing gratitude is another powerful tool for mood enhancement. By focusing on the aspects of our lives for which we are grateful, we shift our attention away from negative thoughts and emotions, fostering a more positive mood. Gratitude practices such as keeping a gratitude journal or simply taking time each day to reflect on what we appreciate can significantly impact our mental climate. This brings us to the topic of reality, the canvas of our thoughts. Reality is the canvas where our thoughts and emotions paint their picture. How does the way we think and feel shape the reality we experience? Our perceptions of the world are colored by the thoughts and emotions we entertain creating a subjective experience of reality that is unique to each individual. This understanding empowers us to take control of the brush, to actively shape the picture of our lives. The power of perception is immense, influencing not only how we see the world, but also how we interact with it. By altering our thought patterns, we can change our perceptions and consequently, our reality. Techniques such as visualization and affirmations can be effective in reshaping our thought patterns helping us to focus on the outcomes we desire and the feelings associated with those outcomes. However, altering our reality through thought is not about denying or escaping the challenges we face. It's about choosing the lens through which we view those challenges. By adopting a growth mindset, we see difficulties as opportunities for learning and development, transforming our reality into one of growth and possibility. Taking control, mastering your internal dialogue. Taking control of your internal dialogue is essential. It's about responsibility, 
Not for the external world, but for your internal world. How can you take control of your thoughts, and thereby your life? Mastering your internal dialogue involves recognizing the power of your thoughts and choosing them with intention. This mastery begins with awareness, acknowledging the thoughts that pass through your mind and their impact on your emotions and mood. From there, we can employ techniques to influence this dialogue, such as thought stopping, positive self-talk, and the use of mantras or affirmations to replace negative or unhelpful thoughts with empowering ones. Taking control of your internal dialogue also means embracing a mindset of agency and accountability. It involves understanding that, while we may not have control over every circumstance we encounter, we do have control over how we interpret and respond to those circumstances. This shift in perspective is transformative, enabling us to navigate life with a sense of empowerment and resilience. Ultimately, mastering your internal dialogue is a journey, one that requires patience, practice, and perseverance. But the rewards of this journey are immeasurable, leading to a life shaped by conscious thought, emotional balance, and a deepened sense of purpose and fulfillment. By taking control of our thoughts, we take the reins of our lives, steering ourselves toward the reality we aspire to create. We've reached our next topic, transforming beliefs and the root of change. At the core of our thoughts are our beliefs. Transforming these beliefs is key to changing our thoughts and reality. The beliefs we hold are often ingrained, shaped by a lifetime of experiences, teachings, and cultural influences. They are the lens through which we view the world, and consequently they can either limit or empower us. So what are the core beliefs that drive your thoughts, and how can they be transformed? First, we must identify these core beliefs. This can be achieved through introspection and reflection, as well as through feedback from others. Cognitive behavioral techniques like thought records can be effective in tracing our emotional reactions back to the underlying beliefs. Once identified, we need to assess these beliefs critically. Are they based on facts or misconceptions? Do they serve our growth or hinder it? The next step is challenging and reshaping these beliefs. This is where techniques such as cognitive restructuring come into play. It involves questioning the validity of our beliefs and replacing irrational or negative beliefs with more rational, positive ones. This process is not about self-deception, but about aligning our beliefs with reality and our personal values. Moreover, practices such as affirmations and visualization can reinforce new, empowering beliefs. By repeatedly affirming positive beliefs and visualizing ourselves acting according to these beliefs, we can begin to internalize them, making them a natural part of our thought processes. Let's now discuss practical strategies for thought transformation. What does it mean? How does it work? How can you apply the concepts of thought transformation in your daily life? Integrating these concepts into our daily routine can help us cultivate a mindset conducive to personal growth and fulfillment. One effective strategy is mindfulness meditation. By regularly practicing mindfulness, we can enhance our awareness of our thoughts and feelings, allowing us to observe them without judgment. This heightened awareness is crucial for recognizing and altering destructive thought patterns. Another strategy is to practice gratitude. By focusing on the positive aspects of our lives, we can shift our attention away from negative thoughts and cultivate a more positive outlook. This can be done through daily gratitude journaling or simply by taking a few moments each day to reflect on what we are thankful for. Engaging in positive activities that align with our values and goals can also help transform our thoughts. Whether it's pursuing a hobby, volunteering, or learning a new skill, these activities can provide a sense of purpose and fulfillment, fostering positive thoughts and emotions. Furthermore, surrounding ourselves with positive influences, people who uplift and support us, can significantly impact our thought patterns. The company we keep can either reinforce negative beliefs or help us cultivate a more positive and empowering perspective. As we conclude, remember that shaping your reality through thought is a journey, is a continuous process of introspection, understanding, and transformation. This journey is not always easy. It requires commitment, effort, and sometimes the willingness to step out of our comfort zones. But the rewards of this journey are immense, leading to a life that is more aligned with our true selves and our aspirations. Throughout this journey, it's important to be patient and compassionate with ourselves. Change does not happen overnight. There will be setbacks and challenges, but each of these provides an opportunity for growth and learning. Embrace these experiences for they are part of the process of becoming who you are meant to be. Before we part ways today, I'd like to extend a small but significant request. If you found value in our journey together through the intricacies of the mind and its profound impact on our reality, please consider expressing your engagement. You can do this by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. 
Your support not only encourages the continuation of such explorations, but also contributes to a wider community of individuals dedicated to understanding and improving themselves. Furthermore, your comments and insights are not just welcomed, they are essential. They provide a platform for discussion, an exchange of ideas, and a space for collective growth. So, I invite you to share your thoughts, experiences, and reflections. Let's cultivate a community where the exchange of knowledge and personal growth is not just encouraged, but thrives. Thank you once again for joining me on this enlightening journey. Remember, the pursuit of understanding is a path we walk together.